Hello, Vinyl community. I'm Mrs. Peaches, and this is episode 21 of the Vinyl Countdown. Today, we have an extremely exciting new video for you, a tribute video. Due to the overwhelming responses we're getting to the 100 subs contest, we received a really amazing entry from Carson at my analog corner, and he provided the CD for the bonus kicker, so it got us thinking we definitely needed to do a tribute. And we do have a special guest today. And I want to make sure you're all sitting down because you're not going to believe this. I hope you're all sitting down. It's amazing. We have the one, the only, Jehovah's sexiest witness, his purple majesty, Prince. Hi, Prince. Hello. Prince. Hello. So good to see you, and thank you for being a special guest on the Vinyl Countdown with me today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Prince, we have so much to go over, and we're so excited to talk about your amazing music. I know we have a lot to go over. Mm-hmm. She's much lighter than Apollonia. I think I'm on a diet. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here on the Vinyl Countdown? Mm. Oh, Prince. I'm glad I came today. I'm glad you came today too. What do we go, What are we going to talk about today? All things Prince. Ooh, all things me? All things you. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Legendary artist, loved from the '80s. Oh, just amazing. I <laughs> think my analog corner said it best when he said, "Genius." Oh, why? Thank you. Why? Thank you, Mrs. Peaches. Well. Do you want to get started with the episode today? Of course I do. Lovely. Hi, everybody in the vinyl community. I'm glad I got to meet you. <laughs> what do you have first? We've got Prince 1999. And we know you've seen this before because Little Red Corvette was one of our 100 subs, one of our entries. Um, I knew by the way you parted your car sideways and last. <laughs> I believe in making out once. <laughs> you only love them and leave them fast. That's right. Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And how about tonight we're going to party like it's 1999. 1999. Mm -mm. And then we've got Delirious. Oh, I'm Delirious. I get Delirious. I know why. You know why I'm Delirious? Because I want to let, let's pretend we're married. That's right. Mm-hmm. And Lady Cab Driver. I know Mr. Peaches yeah. loves Lady Cab Driver. Who's Peaches? <laughs> He's actually the real host of this show. Oh. Where I'm is? just filling in for him today. Where is he now? <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. Oh, I, why, thank you. <laughs> yes, I've wrote in my share of cabs. <laughs> so, you're all Wonderful. familiar for this one. We'll Wonderful. move on. We have Wonderful so album. much to cover, so yes. we're going to move on. I was introduced to that one after I was introduced to this one. The almighty, the wonderful... Purple Rain. Yes. Purple Rain. In all of its glory. We have a couple of copies of this one, actually. Both originals. Mm -hmm. And uh, both amazing solid tens, of course, goes without saying. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. And that right there is Ice Cream Castle. That is the matching oh, album for the movie. We're upside down. Whoa. <laughs> Dig if you will the picture. <laughs> Dig if you will the picture <laughs> of you and I engaged <laughs> in a kiss. Yes, Ice Cream Castle, the matching album with Oli Oli O. And when doves cry, take me with you, computer blue. Now let me tell you the story of when doves cry. When Doves Cry, I wrote that because I had a sick bird that kept pooping all over the place. That was for sure. For sure. Baby, I'm a star and I would die for you. Mm, I would die for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, this happens to be one of me and Peach's all times. All times. I started all with this album, man. I'm serious. It was my life. It changed my life. I got the movie when I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. It starred Prince, Apollonia, Morris Day in the Time, and you remember Jerome? 
Jerome was a big part of the movie. Love Jerome. Which he starred with Prince in Under a Cherry Moon. So yeah, he ended up getting a leading role in that movie, Under the Cherry Moon. Which Definitely. we also just so happen to have. Now, fabulous movie and fabulous music in this movie. When you talk Purple Rain, you're talking also Apollonia. Yeah, we all remember Apollonia. Mm, mm, mm. Very nice, very nice. I made, made out with her once or twice. That's for sure. We Apollonia saw that, six. actually. Yes, we did. We did. Mm-hmm. Apollonia 6. In the movie Purple Rain, they sing Sex Shooter. Do you remember when, when uh, Apollonia wanted to go out and get her own Shoot band? love in your direction. <laughs> Apollonia wanted to go out and start her own band with Morris Day as a manager. And what they started out doing is practicing a song, this song, which is called Sex Shooter. You remember that from the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Who can forget Apollonia? Yeah, she purified herself in the waters of the wrong lake. <laughs> Definitely. And we have several. Lake Minnetonka. Lake Minnetonka, Minnesota. Not far away from and, where I grew up. And uh, Mr. Peach is always wondering how she got back into that leather outfit after. <laughs> how did she get back into that leather outfit after she got all wet? And possibly hypothermia. Possibly hypothermia. I heard when they filmed that movie, well, I was there. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, when they filmed that movie, it was like 20 degrees outside. We're talking nippleicious. Yeah. Nippolonia? No, Apollonia. Nippolonia? Yeah. No, Apollonia. It's all part of the same tree, right? <laughs> Here's another one from Apollonia. What a beautiful girl. Mm, I think she's Latino in a way. I think so. If you watch her video, Sex Shooter, I think she's speaking Spanish at the beginning. Is she? <laughs> I don't mind. There's another one from Apollonia. Look at that. Since I fell for you. I fell for her. Big childhood romance, if you know what I'm saying. Definitely. And then, and equally as important for that movie Purple Rain, that we all Morris love and adore. Time. Yep. Morris Day in the Time. Look at that. This was some of the best funk in the world. You know, people oh, like... Wee, oh, wee, oh. I think I want to know you. Know you. Oh, wee, oh, oh wee, oh. <laughs> Yes, definitely. We got Jungle Love. Remember that song, Jungle Love? Yeah, it's not on this album. <laughs> and if you guys caught the Grammys last year, when Morris Day and the Time came out with Bruno Mars to do a little tribute for Prince, like we're doing today, they did Jungle Love, and they even had the dance moves still, Jerome and um, yeah. Morris Day. And all those songs... And it was pretty awesome. Definitely. And all those songs from Morris Day and the Time that were in that movie came off of this album, which I have in this frame, called Ice Cream Castle. So it's not, it's not too good to just have the Purple Rain part without the Morris Day part because they played a huge role and had awesome songs in that movie. And, you know, when people talk about this funky side of Morris Day and the Time and Prince, it was defined almost immediately being called the Minneapolis sound. A lot of strong bass, a lot of really cut up drums, and uh, some keyboards that would just blow your mind. And they mixed that all together and took a little bit of James Brown. James Brown. Yeah. And they mixed it with some blues and jazz, and, and they came up with this amazing, amazing, really distinctive sound called sure. the Minneapolis sound. Here's another one from Morris Day in the Time. This one is a, is a record store day release on limited edition green vinyl. Some of the best funky music out there. And when you heard it and when it came out, and if you had a heart attack, luckily there was that surgeon in the revolution. He was always in scrubs and ready to go for anybody that might be. Doctor! <laughs> That's right. That's how you say it. Doctor! Give me a beat! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do we have next? Oh, here, yeah, I'm going to show you the Purple Rain. Mm -hmm. If you guys ever get a chance to watch this movie 500 times, do it. Because I'm on 600. So you need to do some little catching up. Okay? Now what came after that? We think it came after that, right? Yeah. That's the next one I had when I was a little kid. I was still in grade school. Around the World in a Day, which has uh, 
raspberry beret, which is probably Strong raspberry beret. Yeah, a lot of people's favorite because it's just such a great in a second hand stone. <laughs> what else did they have on there? Tambourine. With my tambourine. <laughs> and pop live. Pop. pop. Like, what's going on today? What's the matter with your world? What's the name with your mind? Was it a boy when you wanted a girl? Boy when you wanted a girl. Yep. <laughs> we got two copies. Two copies. We got twins. Yep. I used to love that. When he talked about the store, walking in the store on Raspberry Beret. Yeah. What was that guy's name? Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee. Yep. Yep. Working Boss out of five and dime with McGee. Mr. McGee. Yep. Yep. He told me several times that he didn't, didn't like my kind. Because I, I was a little bit too leisurely. I'm a little bit too leisurely. What's your name? <laughs> Prince, I just can't keep my hands off of him. I know, right? What do we got here? The Parade album, which also coincides with Under the Cherry Moon. Awesome songs that were included in this movie. Yeah. And what's what songs on there? And the infamous there? song, Kiss. Yeah. Kiss. That's why we did a little kiss before oh, we I'm so showed this. Time. And Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman singing Kiss in the bathtub. Yep, remember Julia Roberts on Pretty Woman? Yep. I remember but that. There is also um another song I wanted to mention. Sorry, these don't have them on the outside. Hey, spread those legs apart. Mmm, girl. We gotta spread those legs apart. Look at that gate yeah, full. Yeah, Christopher Tracy's Parade. Woo. New position. Girls and Boys. Great song. Great song. Um, mountains, Kiss, and then Sometimes It Snows in April, which is beautiful ballad, beautiful song, and actually it did snow last April, and unfortunately that was when Prince, Prince passed, too. So it was really kind of fitting. I mean, it was because the song is so beautiful. If you've never heard it, uh, Google it. Sometimes it snows in April by Prince. It snows in April all the time around here in Minnesota. And you need another lover, like you need a hole in your head. That's on there too. I never run out of those. I tell you what, girl. Mm -hmm. What else do we got here right now? Little sign of the times. Sign of the times. That's with your mind. I have to tell everyone that's my favorite song on there. Yeah, you know which one. You got the look. <laughs> Oh man, Mr. Peaches, and you yeah. got the look. I am telling you. You got the look is the number uh. one Prince song in the world. In Muzzle uh -huh. I will just make him your face, baby. 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 Yeah, and who is that girl in the background singing? Baby. Let's show you. I want to show you. Where did she go? Yeah, the one. The only Sheila E. singing You Got the Look with no, Prince. No, Sheila E. didn't sing with Prince on You Got the Look. Sheila E. was the drummer. Are you trying to rain on my parade? No. Sheila E. was the drummer, Glamorous Life, which spawned from from Prince, her career did. What did she do with she Sheena Easton sang You Got the Look. Uh -uh. You got too many, too many dames in your life. You can't even keep track of these women. That's my, that's like me, right? <laughs> we got you guys. <laughs> no, but yeah, Sheila E. was really good friends with Prince. Show me his clothes. Yeah. <laughs> They're wearing the same kind of clothes I am <laughs> right now. <laughs> Look at that. That was all part of that Minneapolis sounder and being a pirate. For some reason, I don't know what they have to do with each other. But yeah, we're all pirates. So they're looking for booty. Pirates looking for booty treasure. <laughs> the Definitely. Minneapolis booty. And here's another one from Sheila E. The Glamorous Life, which is a fabulous song. Definitely. And let's give it up for Sheila E. She's awesome drummer. She is. She played in, um, mm -hmm. if you go back and you look at on the special edition, of this 25th anniversary, golden edition, anniversary edition of uh, Purple Rain, you can see uh, a, a concert video of Sheila E. playing the my second favorite song from Prince, Baby I'm a Star. <laughs> yeah, Baby I'm a Star live with Prince, Sheila E. playing those. I don't know, what are they? Are they from like Puerto Rican drums or whatever? Where they just do 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 They're not steel drums, but yeah, man, Sheila E. 
So mm. back to this one. Great songs, Sign of the Times, Housequake, um, You Got the Look, of course. It must have done. If I Was Your Girlfriend, great song. Mm -hmm. I Could Never Take the Place of Your Man, that's a great song. I Can Take the Place of Any of Them. <laughs> and then Adore, You Own My Heart and Mind, I Truly Adore You, and he sings mm -hmm. in that real high voice on that song. Just awesome. You need all these albums. Great album. Mm -hmm. Great album. You need all these albums so I can keep my, my house open. Sign of the times mess with your mind. It costs a lot to heat my house. <laughs> there you go, girl. And the next one, Love Sexy. Look at Prince. So gorgeous. And this had Alphabet Street on it. And um, this was kind of like when the when the mainstream prince <laughs> kind of went away. He was kind of... What'd you say? <laughs> Put your earmuffs on, prince. I'm not paying I'm sorry, attention. I don't want I'm not paying attention. But yeah, so after this, it was all kind of... But we do have one in here, too, that... Um, mm. That was super popular in the 80s. But this was near the end of when Prince was getting all the airplay and Prince was the man. It was kind of after this, but there's so much more that we're going to talk about. So don't take offense mm -hmm. to that and don't, I'm not discrediting Prince by any means. Yeah. How can you discredit anything that's got this on the front? <laughs> Whoa. This is the best movie soundtrack of all time in my opinion. It this... took me a long time to make this. And there's a lot of soundtracks that are fantastic for movies, but I find it I don't think anybody can top this. I really mm -hmm. don't. This the soundtrack. Bat Dance. Oh, off the charts. And the tunes were so amazing. They were featured in the movie with Jack Nicholson and his gang when Jack was the mm -hmm. Joker. Michael Keaton was Batman. Good stuff. But this is considered to be one of the, probably the the best soundtrack in the world. For sure. For a movie. For, for a sure. movie. For sure. Yeah. The Future, Electric Chair, Arms of Orion, Party Man, Vicky Waiting. Still I can Vicky waiting. Go with a smile. Yep. Oh, go. Go with a smile. Go with a smile. Then on the flip side, trust, lemon crush, scandalous. Yeah. Marvelous. And then the mm -hmm. epic bat dance. Can't beat bat dance. Yeah. Try getting Jack Nicholson to show up to the recording studio. Hmm. I don't like him. Well, Jack is kind of a curmudgeon. He's cool. So, we got some singles here. What so do we got? these, yeah, we, we're kind of a sucker for any time we see Prince singles. 12 inch single of Kiss? Kiss. Mm hmm. Right on. Kiss! <laughs> I just want your oh. extra time. This one hasn't had its cherry pop yet, I don't think. Nope, still in the shrink. Mm hmm. What's this one? Sign of the Times. Sign of the Times. Oh, and we saw Ooh. Hulu had Sign of the Times on, it, it's like a concert slash performance. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. Check that out too if you can. The moves Prince was doing was unbelievable on this stage. All these people. And this girl here, woo, she's incredible. She's incredible too. Background singer, dancer. And it was kind of like a love triangle between another guy and Prince and her. And the thing played out, and it was it was so cool. But Prince's <laughs> moves, he was sliding across the stage. He slid between her legs and snatched the skirt she was wearing off. Mm-hmm. As he slid through. No, thank you. Thank you. It was you. unbelievable. Yeah. It, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I believed it. I saw stars out. It was mm -hmm. great. Definitely. Mm-hmm. What do we have? Why does why do I have a lot of things with twelve inches? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I could never take the place of your man single. Oh, I love that song. That's BS. I can do that anytime I want. Super poppy and super great lyrics, baby. Don't waste your time. I could never take the place of your man. Yeah, definitely. Good twelve inch singles. Woo! Here's another one you found in a little antique small in the middle of nowhere. Next one too. I, I, I just really love this song. If I was your girlfriend, 
Would you let me dress you? Would you let me pick out your clothes before we go out? So it's really a love song, and it's the thing that he's... It's all the things he's saying to her throughout the song. It, it's sexy, it's marvelous, and it's he loves her, and that's why he is what he's saying to her. But the real awesome is the second side of this, Shaka Delica. Shaka Delica. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. If you don't get up and dance when you hear Shaka Delica or your feet aren't popping, you're dead or there's something wrong with you because <laughs> incredible, incredible. I like this one. 12 inch single of Pop Life with the hype sticker still in the cellophane. Original. Mm hmm. What's the matter with your world? Yep. Pop Life. Oh man, I love that song when that first came out. Whew. Good, good stuff, Pop Life. Hey guys, you cannot have a, a record collection without having all of these records. Full show. Full show. I need to make my money. Let's do this. Just do this? All right. I know he, it, Pete showed you this when we did the one, two, three contest entry because there's four albums in here. Four great albums. Goes without saying. The Prince Forever box set. And I know he showed you the pictures. If you could see these pictures, they're absolutely amazing. Let's open it um, up and look. Yeah. I, w I would really love to do something with them on a wall. Just have them all side by side. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're losing my head. <laughs> Woo! But, oh, I need the song list on the back. Oh, it's on the back. Yeah. You're going to have to wait. And part of it, too, was when my analog corner, hello, Denmark, we love Prince, too. <laughs> um, every time Hi, he Carson. said Peaches, he played Prince's, a snippet from Prince's song, peach and the song is about a girl though she's a peach but still it was so perfect and it was so funny not only did that but the vinyl countdown he inserted europe's vinyl countdown but every snippet when we heard <laughs> she's a peach she's a peach when he said peaches it was fantastic and that song is on this box set can i just say something of course you're filthy cute and baby you know it <laughs> Oh, Prince, so charming. Wow. Um, but there was a CD set out. I don't, I'm not sure of the year. But it was called The Hits and the B-Sides. So you got two... There might have been four CDs in there, too. Um, but anyway, you got, obviously, all the hits Prince had. But then you got these other songs that you, you didn't hear unless you had <clears throat> the CDs or somehow had these B-Sides. But um, Peach was one of those. Um, there were, there were, um, gosh, Erotic City, there were several other ones, but Peach was on there, and it's also on this one on LP4, which is fantastic. Can I ask you something? Of course. Will you pee on me later? <laughs> Prince! So sorry. Sorry, where was my head? We're recording. No. <laughs> Oh, and even on this one, Bat Dance is on LP3. Mm-hmm. So, um... Lots of good songs on there. So many, so many, so many. Can't even... Diamonds and Pearls, Get Off. Um, do we all remember the Music Awards back in the day when Jehovah's Sexiest Witness, he was wearing that canary yellow outfit with the mm -hmm. butt cut out in the back and mm -hmm. in Get Off. I actually had a matching cloud guitar that was yep. yellow. Big ass round his waist so mm -hmm. I can work on that zipper, yeah. baby. And he turned around and boom! So I can work on the zipper, yeah. Yeah, Diamonds and Pearls. Remember that? Yeah, check that video yep. out. Yep. That's got Seven. a lot of the good stuff in it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there are a couple of CDs too that we have. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the cases. They're packed away. These CDs are in one of those travel zip things that you just slide them in there. Obviously, Purple Rain, we have three copies of this, actually. So, that just tells you right there. Um, the Batman soundtrack, of course, because it's the best. And then this one is a fun story. This is Prince Musicology. And this, they gave these away. Prince actually was at Summerfest, which is a huge music festival in Wisconsin, in Milwaukee, at the um, fairgrounds. And Summerfest is huge. I think it's the biggest musical festival in the world, isn't it? Because they have all those bands that are out. Mm. Can I ask you something? Of 
class. How do you feel about cold water? I don't like it. Hmm. I like to drink it. I don't want to be in it. Do you like swimming? I love swimming. All right. We'll talk later. <laughs> Are we going to Minnesota? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be baptized? You rode on a motorcycle? Oh, I love motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Brum, brum. So anyway, they gave this away when you went to see him. And let me tell you, it was an amazing show. But anyway, there is a song on here, Illusion, Coma, Pimp, and Circumstance. Great storytelling by Prince. Great singing. Life of the Party, too. And Cinnamon Girl are just a few on here that are absolutely incredible. And this is a really neat album. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Which you know that already, my darling Prince. Mm -hmm. Then we also have this one. Now, Peach is a revolution guy. He's all about Prince and the Revolution. Who's this Peach guy? I also love the New Power Generation because they had some fantastic hits and they made some fantastic music together. The New Power Generation was totally solid. So this CD is from the Love Symbol CD. It was when Prince changed his name into a symbol. Would you be a happy boy or a girl? So this one has My Name is Prince and I am Funky. Oh, and I am Funky. When it comes to funk. My name is Prince. I am a junkie. And I am Funky. It also has a Sexy MF. We all know what that one is. Sexy Money Mountain. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? <laughs> Six and mama <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. Okay, and I would really love to know what my Analog Corner's favorite print song is because this one actually has my favorite print song of all time and it's a song called The Continental. It's a completely amazing, totally awesome. But other um, honorable mentions on here are I, I Want to Melt With You. Ooh, I want to melt with you. Another very funky, very awesome Prince song. And Three Chains of Gold. Really great song. You want to know a song I like? <laughs> okay, and then I have one other one to show. This one's a little dark for Prince. It's uh, a little different. The album's called Come. Imagine that. And every single song is a single word. And there's a song on here called Papa, and it's kind of a dark song. It's about abuse. And it's not Papa Don't Preach. And then there's another great song on here called Race. Face the music, we're all bones when we're dead. Mm -hmm. Race. And nah, <laughs> so that's what we've got um, as far as that goes besides this one. You want to go dancing? Prince the Gold Experience. You guys, Carson's the only one that has shown this. In the vinyl community on the contest for the 100 subs. Yep, the $10 kicker, man. This CD and this album, if you have this on vinyl, Peter Pan, you're not going to find it anywhere. We found this thing in a record shop no more than a half an hour from here one day. And actually, you found it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, Peach was talking records. I think that was when he picked up the Slaughter Stick It To You Live. Mm -hmm. So the guy has tons of DVDs, tons of CDs. So, yeah, uh, this little beauty was sitting on the shelf, and I grabbed it. I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for it, because you will literally fall out of your chair. It was so <laughs> yeah. ridiculously if, if, price low. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. if you guys are from the late 90s, or the late 80s or early 90s, you are going to definitely, and if you hit the clubs, the clubs, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, when we were back at drinking age time, if you hit the clubs, you are definitely going to remember that song, P Control. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome dance song. P Control. It's on the gold experience. Good luck finding it. I think everybody should have it, really. But on vinyl, never. And like I mentioned, I did have the amazing opportunity to see Prince at Summerfest, and I can just I, I I can't even begin to tell you. She saw him. First of all, the Purple Rain Encore at the end, that place it gives me goosebumps still to this day thinking about it. The whole place it I was got lighters, goosebumps right now. lighters in the air, and that ending. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, I can't sing mm -hmm. like prince here but <laughs> and it went on and on and on no, you and can't. it was like literally i have goosebumps thinking about it and when prince played too you know he was uh very serious but then he was sometimes had that quirky smile so he would be playing guitar and then he would stop and give you one of those smiles and it was like it was like Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
the heavens opened and mm -hmm. you were Grace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you bet. With his awesome amazingness and he was pure genius. You know this guy could play like 29 instruments. Yeah. The dude was incredible and that and that's just what he could do. His singing too and the music he made and the songs he wrote and so many people's lives that he touched with his music. Stevie Nicks, um, Sinead O'Connor, obviously. He touched my life. Sheila E., Sheena Easton, the list goes on and on. And the others we mentioned, Apollonia and Morris Day. He touched my life, man. I'm telling you. Right. He touched right. my life so much, it changed everything about the way I think. And I was only 10 years old. I was listening to hair, about, hair band music, Van Halen, Quiet Riot, Twisted Sister, and then this Purple Rain movie came out, and I'm telling you, it changed my life forever and ever, and I'm so thankful to Prince. Well, you guys, this has been our tribute to Prince on this video, and we're sorry it's kind of long, but, long. Yeah, but Prince is definitely worth it, and we are trying to honor him in any way that we can, and we really appreciate you guys watching The Vinyl Countdown, episode 21. Yep. Should we take off? We should. We got <laughs> some better things to do. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>